I mean, it's Steven Spielberg. You start at the top, there's only one way to go. That's right. <laughs> Steven epic. Spielberg, yeah. epic film. Yeah. I remember he rang, he rang me when <laughs> <laughs> he rang me when when um, when I was cast, and he was like, "You've never done anything like this. Me neither." <laughs> We're all in this together. I just wanted you guys to be the first ones to know. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I'm gonna work oh, with Steven Spielberg this summer. That's awesome. Yeah, no, it was like a dream come true. So cool. How about you? Yeah, I was doing laundry in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Got the call. The same thing where you know. Bad guys never want to say they're bad guys, but come on, he's they're not. He's, he's a troublemaker. That's the yeah, he's like one of the best guys, <laughs> one of the silliest, funniest guys. And then the camera the, rolls and he becomes. All the kids on set were hanging people. out at his trailer. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. likes the bad guy. Yeah, that's, that's a dirty <laughs> job. Someone's got to do it. And I was just like, I was just still folding laundry, I think, as I was. I was like, okay. I was very level headed about it. And then I kind of sat down and rang my mum. And my mum was like, oh, Olivia, Olivia, this is amazing. <laughs> just like her, her voice went up about seven octaves. Um, the central, the central story, which is really, you know, this guy, this last, you know, they, and what <laughs> they do. Was. I said last and not like the home country. Yeah. But, um, I was driving and uh, the same thing happened to me. Like I kept, the agents kept missing each other and kept trying to be on the phone at the same time. Agents. And at, I know. <laughs> and at one point I just told him. Why is what makes him heartless? Um, because he wants all that cash, baby. Yeah. You gotta have that money. You gotta have that money, money, money. Mm -hmm. Because he, he just agreed. wants to make it rain yeah, on him. Mm -hmm. I called my manager and I was like, man, just tell me what the heck is going on. <laughs> and, um, and he told me, and then I think I started driving uh, way faster than I should have been. It's amazing, but like when he does sci fi, it's always. Hey, TJ, what happened? Oh, let me just check Twitter quick. Wait, anything going on? I'm just liking everything that I look at. <laughs> On Twitter or right now? On Twitter, and okay. also right now. That's a huge nice. But I had to check out for a little bit there. Speech. Kind of... <laughs> can't tell anybody, you can't say anything. Right, were you all sworn to secrecy? You couldn't tell anybody about oh, yeah. the role? Oh, I told absolutely everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, told... I think we take care of the world's problems, but... But they a... want to spend all their time going ding, ding, dong, dong, ding, ding. Monetize mm. it, get them back out in the real world, get these young people working! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, when you got the role, and I was like, what's wrong? <laughs> and, and he said, hey, Daito, you got the role. Daito? Who is that? Oh, no, 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 I mean, like, hey, Steven Spielberg movie, you got Steven Spielberg movie. Oh, God, can I call to my mom? I was like, uh... and he said, no. <laughs> look, look at the screen. <laughs> I got it. I got it. You know, here at MTV, it takes a full and he swoops five in with to the 15 joke, seconds it's been... with a second explanation from me. <laughs> Just laying out the joke a second it's time. It's been three days of this. It's, I'm a little I slow understand. today. <laughs> no, you're looking great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I was at home eating my Bob Shanghai 66 dinner. And um, my dad comes up the stairs and I hear him in the kitchen. He's like, oh, should I tell him? And my mom's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just go ahead. And he goes, Philip, you got the rule. And my first question was, um, how much money am I going to get from this? <laughs> so you're a, you're a businessman. And what's life like for her in the real world? Um, well, well it's not really safe. Is that like, so I, 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 like, I'm, I'm already famous, man. I mean, no. He's like, this is so like, humble you know, no, 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 no. my side no, job. I'm still, I'm still trying. This is like your, your part-time gig right here. A corporation called IOI that's... Um... I, I think I just have to point oh, yeah, out that corrupt is strictly a subjective <laughs> reading of <laughs> IOI. I just need to say that. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. In Sorry, I forgot fairness. you were sitting back there. Ben yeah. Mendel said, yeah, he's, stand, the, he's the, sitting right behind well, you. Well, the health plan time. for their and, uh, uh, IOI. Is uh, fantastic. Yeah. But anyway, sorry, Todd, no, please. No, you, but the fact that you Steven... Like the color of his shirt? <laughs> it's like the color salmon and the color red. Oh, I'm just like melding with the couch at this point. This just folds out. This is where I've been sleeping. Give, uh, cut me a break, it. okay? This really is your apartment. It's a little yeah. bit smelly. It's so lot, hot. I have a lot of questions about so uh, Riverdale and Justice League. Can I just like collapse it all into one thing right like, now? Can we answer that question? <laughs> no, not at all.
the big takeaway for you from this film, like the essential message that you took away from the film or the one that you want other people to take away from the film? He says, uh, or it's also in the book, he says, you know, you can into the reality around you and look up and look into someone's eyes. You know, and I think that that is what is, uh, the real life is very important. So I think the message that I could take away from this movie is uh, what they said. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer. Uh, yep. That is a good answer. So you're basically your head on a gigantic muscle-bound body with a whole ton of armor. <laughs> so, so actually true to life, it's right? Just, yeah, well, no, it's always been my wish. That's the only reason I agreed to do the movies. I was like, they could just Photoshop my head onto, and that's how up I am on tech. TJ, how did you prepare for playing a virtual hitman? I killed. 45 people <laughs> at Pac-Man, at Mrs. Pac-Man, in fact. I'm a feminist. I don't play Pac-Man anymore. I only play Mrs. Pac-Man. He's but all I over call her by her first name, Pat Patrina. Patrina Pac-Man. Patricia. Patricia Pac-Man. Patricia. Pac Patricia. Um, what was the most shocking or interesting thing that you saw when the movie was completed that was just really surprising to you? I mean, the craft services. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, uh, of course, we have a craft service in Japan. Yeah. But you know, in Japan, like, like. Let me explain really like quickly. Like this big, like. Yeah. Craft services is like uh, there's catering, which is like your hot lunch. But all during the day, there's this big table of snacks that are out. It's basically a snack stand. It's a snack stand, and then snack depending chips, on the movie, some cookies, or yeah. Either it's like you know a sad, like some sad cheese and crackers, and like one bag of crispy. Not like, on the cheese Spielberg puffs films. That everybody has to fight over. I think you just photoshopped my head onto a giant muscular body, then that's how I'll be remembered. I'm not going to do any other films after this. I'm just going to be known as giant body, small head man. Because regularly my head's too big for even this toddler body. So. No, he's this very intimidating. I can't believe how chill he is. It was almost as staggering as when I met him. And he's like one of the funniest people I know. Right. After watching him in Animal Kingdom and fearing him. Uh, <laughs> fearing he ha him haunting my dreams <laughs> in perpetuity. Uh, uh, my last question. I have to know, what are some of your favorite Easter eggs in this movie? I mean, this is one of the first movies to even introduce, I think, the, the concept of Easter eggs to a wide audience. Can't tell you. Yeah, we, yeah. Cannot, we can't answer that. We should have guys, another last question. Spoiler alert, yeah. we're not we giving know. anything away. Uh, how about we, the Iron Giant? Yeah. Well, we shot all it. We shot it in England, and usually there's no craft service at in all. England at all. Oh, no, wow. there's like a sad biscuit tray that goes around. <laughs> at, at Everyone only time. gets one biscuit. One biscuit. One biscuit. It's a soggy, on. soggy yeah. biscuit. But this, we had a barista. So we had continue. A smoothie yeah, we're just maker. describing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I mean, like, oh, we have a craft service in Japan. Mm -hmm. In Japan, like, like this big. Like, I mean, <laughs> like this. And here is the hot water and coffee and snacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but in Hollywood, like, here is a trailer, like, big car. <laughs> and then I can get a hot coffee or, you know, like, everything. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you know, it. That's yeah. your favorite part of the movie. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> pass amazing. So I see you're dressed in, uh, it's a little bit of cosplay, right? A little bit of E.T. It's more than a little. <laughs> I, uh, so you, I you, you, you bring it up, bring it up. There it is. Oh, yeah. What is Back it? Back to the Future shoes. Back to the Future yeah. shoes. <laughs> you got socks. Oh, oh. oh, sorry, sorry, yellow socks. And then uh, Elliot sweatshirt. Yeah, Elliot e. sweatshirt. And, and Spielberg. He doesn't like Link to make references Show him the Lincoln underwear. Well, no, 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 that's okay. it. I bought, yeah, I bought this online from Daniel Day Lewis. What's the name of this? Did you see there? Ant, ant! The terrifying pterodactyl. Ant, ant! <laughs> that is a so perfect. perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was, I didn't know anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We can, Philip, I, Philip knew the least. Yeah, I didn't know what Iron Giant was. Oh, come on! Sorry. Philip. Have you right watched over it? There. It's sitting right there. No, I'm sorry. There he is. I'm sorry. We know exactly where we're coming from. I'm such a bad actor. I just waited till the night before and watched Deadpool 1 and was like, all right, I'll try and do that again. <laughs> that was your prep? Yeah, exactly. And this was your first movie, Philip? Yeah. Yeah, so my career is only going downhill now. Oh, wow. no. No way. It's true. Yeah, you, you're starting to Philip, you haven't seen the movie yet. You, you, you should you, <laughs> I, you should be banking on your performance. It's great. <laughs> I mean, it's Steven Spielberg. You start at the top. There's only one way to go. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. What, what's the gold chain, though? 
Um, this is just, it's like my career, it's just fool's gold. <laughs> <laughs> so who's got the best Steven Spielberg story since he's not here and we can talk all sorts of things? Uh, 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 yeah. This it. is his last movie, he doesn't care. He, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he's burning the bridge again. I don't work in this town again. Uh, oh yeah, we, we hated each other actually because of that. We oh no. Oh, no, we, we actually, we got to know each other really well be, because of all the Mm. Dance rehearsals. We had to do. Yeah, we broke the ice quite quickly. Yeah. With that. My wife turned around the corner in the hotel lobby bar in Vancouver and she said, Oh my God, some guy's just like cackling. Who's making all that noise? That is so rude in the middle of a. Oh, that's my husband TJ reading the Deadpool 2 script. <laughs> <laughs> and it was me just crying, laughing. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm Ty Sheridan, and you have the chance to inherit half a trillion dollars and total control over the U.S. Yeah. Wrong video. Oh, yeah, right. But if you're watching this video, you have the chance to come and meet us at the premiere of Ready Player One. I think you have to watch it several times to kind of, to to be able to see them all. We've seen it twice, and this, we still need to see yeah. it a few I more mean, times. I mean, and this is not us trying to sell more movie tickets, seriously. Like, <laughs> see it seven times. See it seven times. In um, IMAX. <laughs> the second time, watch so thank you guys so much for having us. <laughs> what does that mean? No, he, it's he, was, eating, he was eating Cheetos because he had a moment where things weren't quite... He goes, you know what, this is a Cheetos moment. This is a Cheetos moment. And so people brought him Cheetos and he was eating the Cheetos and I kind of teased him about that. And then later he, he said, Again, get TJ a, a bag of Cheetos also. And we both had Cheetos and we were standing there eating. Best two friends out the cost. Uh, Lena and, um, and um, I want to say Ben Mendelsohn, but I don't know if it's reciprocated, so probably <laughs> <laughs> Ty. Funniest cast member out the cast. Um, ben. And we weren't talking, and he took some of his Cheetos and he put them in my bag. <laughs> oh, I, and I just looked at him and he's like, and so I took some Cheetos from my bag and put them in his bag, and then he was like, now we're Cheetos brothers. <laughs> now you absorb now some of his power, right? I, I don't Doing think so, way. but I had <laughs> very orange fingers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Já viu o rico namorar pobre?